I'm going to make a very brief update of the 7.6 cm wide heatsink using passive and active cooling. The purple line shows the behavior of the temperature of the heatsink uh, while on passive dissipation for the 20 cm centimeter length. As, as, as expected, the temperature for any power that was fed into the resistance is higher than for the other two lengths, which are greater, 30 centimeter for the green line and 40, and, uh, 40 centimeter for the blue line. What is more interesting is the behavior in the case of the active cooling with a 20 CFM fan located just behind the resistance and that corresponds to this to this um, brown line and as one can see the difference between the temperatures for any of the three lengths is very is minimal here we can we see a uh, an increase of uh, a, a well, a few degrees, but for one can say that actually the temperature is almost the same for any, for any of those three lengths. This is a result that I didn't expect to be um, to have this behavior that the temperatures would be so close to each other, and it makes me think that uh, the recommendations for clients will be very different when using active cooling and passive cooling and that I, ha I don't have to be as conservative in my recommendations when using a longer length, a, a greater, greater length with a fan. As one can see from these graphs, actually the length doesn't have much of a difference on the temperature. And that's it for this week.